That's why Frank needs to die tonight. Hey, everybody. It's Sunday. Welcome aboard Margu Campaign, the tri-generational group. Uh, what's it like to play with a family uh, in D&D? If you haven't seen it, you're in for a treat. If you have seen it, you are a glutton for punishment, but we are glad you are back. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us about uh, D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, go ahead. It's The link's down there somewhere. Uh, if you don't want to see the moneymaker and just want to listen to it, uh, we can do that too for you. We've got an audio podcast on Podbean. Uh, quick shout out to Pirate Dog Dice, who did not kill little Frankie last night. Uh, I should have used Big Red on him, but I didn't. Um, he survived the one shot for Spawn of Cyclops uh, convention. Uh, also, if your game stinks, try some Adventure Sense. It will make your game smell better. Maybe not your players, but it'll make your game smell a little bit better. Uh, they, that is from oddfishgames.com, who also offer the Shine system. Uh, and that is so that you can write better than me. And you will not break my heart if you do that. Uh, that's the best part about this game is, please, somebody do it better. Like I said, this is the tri-generational campaign. This is Margu. We'll go ahead and hit you with the background here in just a minute. First, we're going to hear from AJ on who he is. Uh, and he's missing his buttercup is alive. Uh, yes, I am so excited that Dead. Buttercup survived. Buttercup ran off. What? Buttercup ran off. <clears throat> Bullshit. But uh, I'm playing Felix, Buttercup. the uh, half rogue, half druid now. So uh, multi-class a little bit there. Uh, and I feel like I need to say we need to have just a moment of silence for Phineas Latrec. I agree. Okay. I, I am so sad that he is gone. He was my favorite NPC. <laughs> wow. He and his blue javas will sadly be missed. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, next up is Jason. Jason, who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, uh, I am the former Admiral Copious Volbitters III, <laughs> who is mourning all of the crew that was lost. Uh, not sure what happened, but apparently there was a typhoon. It wrecked the ship. Stranded us on this new continent. <clears throat> Don't know what happened since that time. Uh, so are you going to have like eight kids and marry your governess and go across the mountains now that you don't have a ship? There's really a good chance. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm looking for a lady who can sing. I, you know what? I'm sure there's an Abbey out there somewhere with uh, not your name on it yet, but so not it would be your yet. name. There will uh, be yeah. a name eventually. Copious Volbitters the Third Abbey. They're <laughs> hot nuns. S sisters of the Broken Tankard. <laughs> oh, perfect. Uh, next up. Is, right. <laughs> next up is Metal Frank, who played. This is his third game this week. He's he should be burned out like me, but I don't think he is. I am Wild Man Robert, or Rob Zeppelin, as it's be known, here with the uh, big and powerful man thing aka alice oh, i guess we're, i guess you're doing my intro for me helping you out brother i'd like to sell you on all right uh, might as well played, roll for you too <laughs> i i i am playing a bard slash uh sorcerer bringing the power bringing the heat and my uh, motto is no witnesses let it burn baby let it burn very is nice this like your backstory because it's getting real long it can get long Hey, you guys are all uh, new level, so it's it's got to get longer. It's just like uh, not everybody can be Jon Snow, King of the North. You know, you got to have somebody with a lot of titles. Little Frankie, you are up next. Uh, congratulations on surviving the Blue Dragon last night. Thanks. I am mad. That's he already explained the rest. I got nothing. <laughs> he, he said everything you need to know. That I'm great, strong, and handsome. New nickname for the game day for today. He is Alice. I'm not Alice. With those powerful limp rolls, he's Alice. Wow. One already. Roll the one. Next up is the senior member of this crew, uh, Elder Frank. Elder uh, Mature Frank. We'll call yeah, him. absolutely mature. And uh, Felix, I just want to let you know 
Buttercup is not lost. The last I saw Buttercup, my stallion zonkey, Stormy, was leading her by the bridle into the bushes. And don't forget, so we are for mature audiences only. <laughs> <laughs> that is quite all right. Buttercup had a traumatic experience. I'm sure she could. Never mind. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I wonder how, I am, uh, how much a zonkey Colton get you. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I get first pick of the litter. That's true. I'm playing Leaf the Cleric and Druid. <laughs> and I'm right there with Robert. Let it burn. And uh, Copious, uh, yeah, yeah, that uh, tsunami that came, that was after we ripped off the god that guarded this place. And he went ape shit and tore the cliffs down and killed everybody in the city. I just I, wanted to I, I, have no I thought you were having a memory lapse. I wanted to help you out. Nope, still no recollection. But I do think, hey, Robert, because your first job was a bard there's like this uh the reins of uh uh of lights reach is your new go-to song yeah yeah <laughs> the reins of lights reach <laughs> for, for rage our, rage against light reach rage against the half yeah, baby yeah baby uh last but certainly not least uh one of our other youngest members here uh nicholas who are you who are you playing i guess crabstein that's that, a baby. I love little words. Little uh, back, back the male the seahorse has the babies. That's true. That is true. So we've learned that and that whole raccoon thing, which is scary. No, that's exactly the reason I didn't turn into a damn seahorse when we were under the water right there. Right there. Well, you could have been the female. Yeah, that wouldn't have been a. Uh, Jason, uh, pitch your Kickstarter for us, please. Oh, sure. Uh, if folks are looking, we're just under two weeks left in uh, our uh, Zine Quest contribution to Kickstarter. We Bit Twisted 2. Uh, look it up on Kickstarter. It includes a complete 5E adventure, uh, the Rocky Horror Mummers show. Uh, so for anyone who's interested in the world's most famous role-playing game, it's set up for a little one-night diversion with that. And uh, take a look at it on Kickstarter. Ending next week, I think. Is that under Dr. Zero? Dr. Zero presents We Bit Twisted 2. T O O. There will be a link on our Twitter page to check it out. Uh, maybe we have to have you on here to run it. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since I've been a DD, but I would be happy to run it as long as Frankie is involved. Which oh, one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as Leaf the cleric slash druid ha ha pointed out, these guys were more than 90% responsible for the destruction of Lightreach, an innocent halfling community. We were set only on, 97%. Set on a beautiful tri level. Uh, now it's uh, mostly watered down real estate and bloated bodies. Uh, the protective cliffs have been sundered uh, because. The party did loot uh, the tribute of Lear, the sea god, and uh, deities don't like that shit, so I can hardly wait till they get a new ship and get back on the waves, because that's going to be awesome. Uh, we for gave 97% of that silver back. We gave him most of everything back. <laughs> we gave not, him the bongo. Not by choice. <laughs> you guys were saving your skin. That's right. He got the bongos, man. Uh, they did manage to rescue four of six zonkeys. Their mounts uh, won fairly in Metcalf. Unfortunately, the wild man and man fang theirs didn't make it. Uh, so after looting a deity's tribute, this is the only group that can honestly say they are poorer now than when they started. Uh, they have waited <laughs> they have waited one day, they've gotten their long rest, and they are now, boom, sixth level adventurers with all the hit points and annotations that they deserve. Uh, <laughs> we rejoin them on the farmland outside of tier three of the Sundered Light Reach uh, on day, I think, three, right? Because day two was going back into the ship, was it not? Uh, I asked now how many of the party members changed their uh, <laughs> their thing to chaotic uh, evil. Show of hands, please. Show of hands. Copious. I was already yeah. chaotic. Yeah. yeah, that's one oh. sign of it right there. Lying about it. No, Copious doesn't lie. Halfling is very religious. 
Uh, yeah, you were you were wanted to see the destruction firsthand. I was I caused half of it. My own destruction. <laughs> yes, you did. Ah, so uh gentlemen Dexterity's in my brain. Uh we know what you would think of dexterity and you're sorely uh. mistaken. <laughs> You have you have paid attention to too much uh, fan fiction. Much uh, anime. <laughs> that's right. So, uh, as you know, uh, you met a new friend, albeit briefly, and he came from the south, the north, the south, uh, from the interior of Drake Larry, the Halfling Kingdom. Uh, Rodrigo uh, has followed a... It's not a road. It's more of a path. Uh, he and his now dead comrades, uh, came in shortly before the sundering of the city. So there is a trail outside this little seaside resort area that is now up for sale. <laughs> <clears throat> what would you guys like to do with four zonkeys and uh, a block on your shoulder? I'm going to put up a sign that says land for sale or lease. Contact Copious Bowl Bitters Land Incorporated. Nice. Or are any of the bodies near the, like, you know, where the water sort of sits, you know? Like, oh, yeah, of... the, the, the bloated bodies keep surfacing. I'm going to start, like, scything them in and looting the pockets. Give me a constitute. Well, you know what? D12 against me for your first corpse. I wanted to rip one sure. of those bloated bastards. <clears throat> uh... Seven. Uh, you drag it in. Uh, this one has 11 gold pieces on it. Hey. Wait, now Felix, Felix wants in on the action. Can, can I shoot its loaded belly with that. the crossbow? I think I'm going to go down there and start helping. By uh, to shoot its loaded belly All right, let, let's crossbow. split it off. You get the <laughs> west, you, I'll get the east. Uh, wild man, go ahead and shoot your crossbow bolt. <laughs> There are a total of six 16. bodies. What? 16. Uh, Hagas, a crossbow bolt comes out over your shoulder, puncturing the bloated belly of the male. Uh, <laughs> and its entrails squirt all over you. Give me a constitution check. Squirted almost Three. Ah, uh, yeah, you vomit. You wretch uncontrolled. He spooched his entrails on yep. your face. <laughs> I'm done. No. Uh, for four minutes, you are going to wretch oh, until you me. get the dry heaves. Uh, Felix, I believe before that happened, you were going to drag one in, were you not? I was, yes. Well, let's go ahead and see if you can hit it for me, please. D12? Uh, yep. Nine. Eight, you managed to drag it in without puncturing it. Uh, this one is a male as well. And it uh, possesses only six coins of the realm. So question, mm -hmm. uh, do, do we have any idea what the burial practices of halflings would be in this area? Is there oh, any sharks? This area? Hoggis, give me an arcana check. Let's see if you being a halfling would know this. Oh, cool. I'm a halfling. Like, I should... <laughs> Your mama didn't tell you? Fifteen. He just uh, thought he was a tiny dwarf. Uh -huh. you're, you're pretty sure it's burial at sea. I'm gonna lie. We do corpse burnings. Like, put them all in a big pile and light it on fire. Alright. <laughs> Insight check. I want to see if he's lying. <laughs> you want to burn the water. <laughs> I got a three, so I'm going with makes sense to me. Uh, I, I'm going to suggest to the parties those bodies have washed up on shore. We we get some of the driftwood and put them up there and prepare to see if we can burn them. If we can. I'm going to suggest to you guys that you're out your freaking minds. I'm going to load my zonky up and start heading down a trail. Well, well, yeah, I'm going to their ass up when you burn them. So when that gas expels straight out, it's like a torch burning straight up. <laughs> it's <laughs> like the oil fields. <laughs> 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 Hey, and <laughs> Robert is Zeppelin. Like, are you any good at forgery or Felix? I think Felix is. Felix, are you any good at forgery? Of course. All right. So here's what we need to do before we leave. Oh, boy. 
Get ready. <laughs> what's really remarkable is that so many of these halflings escaped because they weren't here when the wave crashed. They actually survived. And because the town was devastated, they sold the town's property to us before they left. Here's a copy of the deed from the town. Sure. Yeah, let me just create something here really we quick. We know the names of some of the key people from the town, right? The mayor. The mayor is one of them. So we The we, madam. We, the madam, the the cartographer, both journalist, the pawn. It's by pawn what's his brother. face on the ridge. Uh, 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 Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Witness. So, uh, Felix, can you write halfling? Oh, I'm halfling. I cannot. So, no. So, you're going to help him? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> it's a circle. The thing, though. Well, Felix knows how to on. make the little touches so it looks authentic. Like, yeah. let's go get some sealing wax and we can. Or are you going to stamp a ring into it or something? I don't know. No, I'm just thinking we take the, the deeds with us as we travel, and the first person with money we find, we sell them a bridge over Brooklyn Bridge. That's a good idea. Sure. I have now descended into the late, the likes of Leaf and Robert. Heroes. <laughs> so forged so deeds. I say let's put a sign up contact for sale and you instantly see I knew it spark a thought in his head. I can profit off of this somehow. Full bitters compound, full bitters brewery, the enchanted forest. Contact Granny Goodwitch. Enchanted Forest is the name of your suburb. Yep. Wow. Okay. Uh, Haggis, you can uh, private message me as to how much real assistance you'll give Felix, noting the fact that you're stealing from the dead. I'm not sure that you can be trusted. All right. <laughs> so, Felix, uh, who are you going to forge? I think so the how, mayor's a good one. So mayor? how much help I give him on how to... Okay. Yep. So the mayor... Yeah. Oh, I... Guess let's do the mayor. Let's do the madam from the pink house. Let's do Georgina. Cartographer. The cartographer. And do we remember the uh, proprietor of any of the taverns down on the first level? You never Doesn't met any of the proprietors. Only Doesn't matter because it's all staff. washed away anyway. That's true. Unless there's cousins coming in. Huh. Okay, those four, I, that's okay. what we got. I got it. <clears throat> so the four major landholders all sold to you before this devastation occurred. It's the last thing I have to remember the madam by. Mm, that's true. That's Not the last it. thing Felix has <laughs> to remember <laughs> stuff. Uh, okay. Uh, that will take a good portion of the day. I'm assuming you have parchment, quills, and ink. Of course. Yeah, fair enough. Since you've been in the water half the time. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, wait, Felix, let me see this. I've got the scroll case. I'm going to say, let's parchment. ask the scroll case. Wait a second. Parchment. Well, we try forging it. What if we ask the scroll case if the deeds are in it? I'm, I'll I'll uh, tap the scroll case and say deeds. Uh, D12 Very good. against me. Oh, I, D12. This is where it goes south. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're screwed. 12. Don't, don't even bother. Oh, 12. It worked. He has the cartographer's deed. Hot damn. Legit. Uh, so now you have something to base it on. Okay, from that, I think we can forge the other three <laughs> very easily. <laughs> that that so that's the emblem you're gonna go with. Okay. Well, we've got somebody here that can read Halfling, right? Yeah, yeah, right? Right, yeah, he's helping I you out. That he's, he's, I figured right. out what the emblem of Halfreach is. <laughs> the private message he sent you, I assume, said I'm going to help 100% because he's very helpful. I did. He actually, he actually described uh, what it is. I, I'm going to cast Comprehend Language to verify what Krampus is uh, translating. <laughs> I, I assume this is what you had in mind. <laughs> <laughs> a banana and two circles. 
Okay. <laughs> well, it is or a very owl. Clearly, part. that is an owl. I'm guessing. It looks like an elephant. Yeah. Looks like fallopian tubes. It could be a, a waving cactus. That's water and halfling. That's that's everything in halfling. That's formal and informal. At least it looks to me like he called you a dick. <laughs> that's kind of what I'm getting, but I, I like the waving cactus idea. I, I want to look at the papers myself. I comprehend languages. Yeah. Sure. I'm pulling them like it's, oh, the this is to sell a car dealership right here. Yeah. yeah. You, all you need is an air machine and you'll be set. Yeah. Oh, so, anyways, so Adam, that, you can take care of that. Cool. I heard she blows well. This could land us some instant capital once we hit a city. That is true. I'm going to sell you this. Uh, and, you know, uh, with your role, you, you do have a legit deed uh, that Felix can base his work off. And uh, the skills that Haggis has provided will be instrumental. So, But I say we get out of town and then do all this stuff. Rather than hang out at the crime zone. <laughs> this was a natural disaster. Yeah, you can natural disaster all you want. I just want to be away from the Let me just disaster. say, being a druid, I'm telling you boys right now, all these dead bodies are going to attract shit we don't want to be around. What's we need to go somewhere. Else. FEMA. They should be getting here any moment now. Uh, this yep. is the Superdome. They'll be here in four days. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but the gators are around the corner. Uh, yes, and the insects. All right, uh, so we have a plan. Yes, we're moving to the capital. Let's sure, we'll people. say we'll say plan. I like that plan. Why do we bother? Plan is a strong word. We're heading to the capital to see if it burns. So plan is a very strong word. So, uh, is, do you want him to do the paperwork now, or wait till you guys get away from the crime? No, wait till we get away from here. here. All right. Okay, so you want to travel the rest of the day and get out? Yeah. They don't have zonkeys, so they're going to need to go in one of ours, right? Uh, they're too big, so they're going to have to uh, hoof it their own way. So, as you can see here, you've got light reach. Uh, you've got the sundered turtle ship that you once <laughs> called home, and you have this very slim trail through the hills. I will give you, uh, since it's already midday, I will give you two more square or hexes here, and you will get into a thick forest or grassy plainlands, plains land. So it's up to you guys. The, forest. These forest. are cliffs. So, Clips of Dover. so forest, huh? Who wants I to be twelve? I prefer now? the forest, but I'm not. It's up to you guys. They Who's both being... sound dangerous. <clears throat> You're in halfling land. How dangerous could it be? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, who wants to d twelve against me? I'll do it. In the hills. Six. Oops, sorry. Rotate nine. Three. Uh, <laughs> In the thick forest. You suck. Yeah, that one sucked too. Uh, everybody perception check as you get into the forest as uh, daylight starts to recede. Nice perception. Hey, I'm the greatest. That Nin is 19. 20, 19. Six. 23. 23. Nope. 21. 21. And Felix. 19. Uh, I think you all hear it and all get a feeling of dread as you are being watched. Do we perception again? To try to... and determine where? Yeah. Like which direction? Okay. Yeah, I'll give you investigation this time. Sixteen investigation. Seventeen. 18. 30, 20. That's in 11. 19. Oh, you're negative. Never mind. Second. <laughs> you suck, Frankie. Shut up. Uh, copious old bitters. Uh, you get a bead on this individual and you catch just a very slight spotting of him. Uh, it appears to be a halfling dressed in green. 
Robin Hood. All right. Um, <laughs> I think it'd be more like Bob and Hood, wouldn't it? So, <clears throat> wherever are we marching as we spot this, or are we camped at this point? You are going into the forest. Okay. I'm going to sidle up to the next nearest party <clears throat> member uh, and just indicate that I, I saw, I think I saw a halfling in the you, woods. Can you tell direction. me where? Like where, which direction? Now, who, who are you going to sidle up next to? Whoever's nearest to me, so it looks as unobtrusive as possible. Uh, myself, a man thing, I figure at the back. Uh, that'll be Leaf, uh, the cleric druid, then. Then that's who I'm going to sidle up to. Leaf. Where, where, where did you see him? Oh, Just kind of nod that way. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I don't know, I remember that way. Oh, I'll look. <laughs> Look and see if I can see him. Uh, give me an investigation check at uh, plus two. Plus two? Mm -hmm. Not advantage, just plus two. 18. That's good enough. You see a, a boot hanging out from behind a tree. I'm going to say, tell uh, Copius, I see him. Let's get him. <laughs> Immediately, let's kill this guy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Pardon, I did not say kill yet. Yeah, yeah. I said, That's let's get him. <clears throat> okay, fair enough. Uh, how do you want to get him? I'm All just right. going to, I was going to say, just sneak up there. We're on a horse. A zombie. donkey. Uh, not everybody's on a horse. Maybe oh, we should have one of our... Burn! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to, all right, all right, Leaf, I'm going to let my zonkey fall back. Next to Alice to be a donkey horse in your and Robert, and say, There's someone in the trees. Why well, don't one of you guys pretend like you have to use the John, disappear into the bushes, and we'll keep marching along? I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I gotta I pass. pass. I gotta pee. I, I, I mean, you go to the other side of the tree. I don't want you watching me when I pee. You get Pretty jealous. <laughs> I'm gonna wander over there and start pretending like I'm untying my string to whip it out. Oh, if we go, in, I could say I forgot my underwear and go the other way, like where we came from, and then I could. You're still behind. covered in vomit. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you you never bothered to clean up or get prestidigitated, so you're vomit covered. You're going to suffer a uh, charisma issue. He's downwind of us, right? He better uh, be. Well, he's not downwind of Robert and Manfang because they were dead last. They said. I'm sneaking over. You need me to do a stealth or something? I'm not sneaking, but I'm just going over. Pretend like I'm taking a leap, but really, I'm. Um... Give me a deception check to see if you fool this person. 19? Uh, yeah, you fool them. Uh, I'll take an oh, investigation yeah, check from Copious. Oh, 21. Uh, you can tell that the individual in green is. Keeping an eye on Robert to make sure that uh, it doesn't do the end around. I'm going to go up to Felix next and get his attention and see if, if there's a way he can think of to get off the zonkey and get around to the other side to make sure this woman doesn't escape or halfling doesn't escape. Uh, Robert, are you screaming out in pain from the kidney stones that you probably have by now? Sure. Okay. Uh, what do you think, Felix? Are you stealthy enough? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> we'll see. Oh my God, it's like a bowling ball coming out my dome. Did <laughs> <laughs> I hear Kobe say it's a woman in green? <laughs> it, uh, he's, he's not sure it's somebody in green. I told Felix it's a woman. It's, it I heard is it's a female. woman. Yeah. Well, yeah, let me sneak on up there. So. Oh, I'll, I'll, are we still marching at this point? <laughs> Keep your pants on. Well, everybody but Robert, who is screaming in agony as the kidney stone the size of a grapefruit passes okay. through his uh, spaghetti-sized urethra. Okay. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll just kind of <laughs> ride up there and as quiet as I can, I'll tell Buttercup, we got to be stealthy. So, okay, you're <laughs> stealthing on a zombie. <laughs> Not I'm only a zonky, the only <laughs> albino zonky in this place. Sure. <laughs> you need to be Felix the Great Pee Wee Hunt. Yeah. Based on my role, I don't think that's going to go very well with a 14. Probably. 
Yeah, no, that's not going to go very well. As you and Buttercup round the corner, the half lane is gone. Aren't I over there where the halfling's at, taking a leak? You're over here taking a leak, and then he has circled around, so it's kind of split the difference. It's lonky. Besides, you're still uh, talking about how painful it is and how you need to do more, I don't know. Grapefruit. Water or grapefruit. Uh, cranberries, whatever. Some cranberries. Uh, Felix, uh, you feel something splat on your head. Is it Mon a monkey poo? Oh boy, I'm not gonna look up yet. I'm gonna reach up and touch it and look at my hand. It appears to be blood. I'm very slowly gonna look up. You see a halfling female dressed in green eating cherries. Oh. Then I'm going to say something to her along the lines of, Hey, lady. Hello there. You doing? What are you doing out here? I haven't seen a town for miles. Really? Didn't you just come from Lightreach? Uh, we did, but... <laughs> Is <laughs> that a town? Right. <laughs> Well, oh, hold on, have, hold on. You clearly you, haven't been to Light Reach. You, you're channeling Man Fang's diplomacy. <laughs> yeah. Are you a Medusa uh, too? Man, she, now we gotta kill another witness. She leaps off the limb, somersaults in midair, and lands right next to the zonkey. Ten points. And puts the her hand out, and uh, Buttercup starts chewing away on them cherries. Uh oh. And she slowly uh, strokes buttercups. She goes, this is the weirdest horse I've seen. That's because it's not a horse. It is a zonkey. Hmm. I've never heard of that. Uh, what's everybody else doing now that he's made contact, Captain Picard? I'm going to clean myself. There we go. myself for a... Uh... Attack if need be to take out the witness. I'm gonna get out my bow, like you know, yeah, just get ready. <laughs> I'm gonna keep a watch around us. Where One at. small half <laughs> female, and you guys are ready for <laughs> WW3. Got it. I want her ghillie suit. It's cool. Uh, well, the ghillie suit looks like intestines from a halfling. Uh is the female attractive? Because Felix needs to know, is he going to try to charm her? Uh, charm the pants off of her? Her charisma oh, yeah, is the you've been with. 16. She's quite the charmer. In a yeah. rugged, outdoorsy woman kind. Not a jean wearer, per se. <laughs> Maybe you should check for age second. Uh, that seems she, important. First. Her age so. is... Uh, 16. We just burned down the entire 60. town. Her age I is don't... 60. Uh, that's, that's young for a half. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. It's but, not. Yeah. <laughs> I think halflings are scared. <laughs> but you know what? She's got a 16. So, Felix, uh, your trainer has arrived. Does she have a bow? Uh, she has a dagger, have a, own... dagger and a rapier. I want, I, 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 and I would imagine she probably carries a bow to hunt. She also I'm, is carrying a loot. I put away my bow and I'm going to go to Felix. Give me a percentage roll on how many, what percent of intestines you managed to wipe off yourself. Okay, cool. You percentage roll? roll? Percentage roll? You. Yeah, you I'll cleaned yourself up. Let's see how good you did. That's the 70. If it's the 10 one going up. 70. 70 is not bad. You still got a little <laughs> bit of stuff. Uh, so, Leaf, you're looking around. Uh, give me an investigation check. Yeah, four. Oh, yeah, you see nothing. You're fine. Uh, <laughs> Robert, she turns to you and throws you a small leather pouch. Uh, turns back to Felix and says, he's going to need that. Why? Small dog. Why is he going to need that? Well, apparently he's uh, got PP problems, and those cranberries will help him out. Oh, yeah, that is very. <laughs> and she continues to stroke your zonkey. She's rather enamored with it. Can you put him in the penis? <laughs> yes, you, you insert. They are like suppositories. <laughs> but if you need the stick, 
So, you know, cram it in musket style and you're going to have to find out yourself. (laughs) Uh, Frank. (laughs) (laughs) So, I'm going to ask her what her name is. Uh, Her name is uh, Huleta Montross. Entertainer extraordinaire. And you might be. I'm Felix the Great. Never heard of you, Felix the Great. So how much for this zonky? Oh, the the zonky is not for sale. Are you sure? (laughs) I am sure. Your associate seems to believe that uh, my payment was good enough, so... No, unfortunately, the zonky is not for sale. Take your pick of three. (laughs) Uh, I'm going to shoot a look to wild man Rob Zeppelin and Buttercup, he touches me improperly, takes me away from here. Shut up, Zeppelin. <laughs> uh, she is saying you let up. She is puzzled by your interaction with your colleagues uh, and asks uh, how Lightreach is doing. Right, Lightreach is doing <laughs> just fine. <laughs> I was as wondering long as if you I... have no follow up questions about like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 I am actually seeking a friend of mine. Uh, perhaps you've heard of him. Uh, his name is uh, Rodrigo Montoya. Oh, shit. I believe I have heard of Rodrigo right Montoya. Right, right I, I, I am part of his group, and I seem to have gotten lost when I was hunting a bar. She needs to die. Oh, I'm so sorry <laughs> to hear that. <laughs> Rodrigo, we last fire. saw him. He was oh, leaving Lightreach. She she keeps an eye on Manfang and his uh, dissertation on, <laughs> on killing her and seems a little bit puzzled. Uh, so where did Rodrigo go? For the worst. Last I saw of him, he was standing on a cliff top, making some gestures towards the water, facing out to the water. I don't know why. I, he was air humping the water. Had he I, cleared up because I had to give him some cranberries as well? <laughs> he, I, I think he I said he, I think was he was looking to go. into the wind off a cliff. I don't know. He was just doing one of these numbers off on a cliff. <laughs> I like Captain PP. He's interesting. So, what is the story with you guys? Why are you headed into the interior? We are, are headed rare. into the interior because we need to gather supplies and we're looking to sell our new parcels of land. Oh, real estate agents, are you? I missed the gold coat. She quickly grabs her bow and an arrow and knocks it, aims it at you, Leaf, and lets one go. I will release mine. Everybody roll initiative. I knew it. I knew it. I told you to hit killer. Oh, crap. You. Uh, I'm last. 19. Uh, wait a minute. 19. Yes. Natural uh, 20. It doesn't matter what you roll. 15. 20. Uh, 15. 12. You don't even oh. know mine. Robert and. Uh, I got 19. Uh, <laughs> Leaf. Oh, I. He rolled six. Uh, the arrow goes over your shoulder and you hear a loud screech uh, as everybody, do you want to attack her or see what the screech is from? I want to see what the screech is from. It's an owlbear. I'm going to scream out, owlbear. Do you hear that? Albert. He said owlbear. Owlbear? <laughs> Alberto? Uh, uh, oh, 19, 19 you can scream out, so go ahead. Albert, there. I'm going to point. Am I going to do anything else? Yeah, because screaming's a free action. Yeah, how far away is it? It's right on top of you. It's about 30 feet away, and it's charging. 30 feet and charging? Mm -hmm. Oh, crap. I shall also throw a sideways glance at Manfang, who's preparing to shoot her in the face. <laughs> okay. How was I? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast here in just a second. Yeah, we sure. can get the Albert to eat her, and then that just saves us the trouble, you know. You know it's I really appreciate the, the instincts, Manfang, but let's kill the Albert first. Yeah. Fine, I'll kill the Albert. I'll shoot the Albert. We could stab her in a way that makes it look like the Albert killed her. 
Yes, we'll take the claw of the owl bear and scrape her down the face. Co Give me just head. one Get second. I got the wrong got the wrong page up. Sure. My bad. <laughs> Who had the fifteen? I did. Okay, I think you're second. So she has some. She had some good weapons and a ghillie suit. So kind of. Uh, Copious, what was yours again? Ten. Okay. I was going to cast entangle if I can find a damn thing. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I think there's a save on that, isn't there? Uh, yeah, it's a strength check. It's my spell save. The spell uh, save sixteen. 14 plus 5, 19. Well, tears, guess... tears through the vines. Yeah. Uh, Haggis, you're up next. What about the 19? Is the, is the uh, owl bear first? Well, hang on. Did you have a 19 as well? I had yes. a 15. I had a 19. Oh, okay. I thought you said you both went last. So, yes. No, you, you goes, and... I had a 19. You rolled okay, a yeah. You and Leaf both had a 19. So, go ahead. All right. Well, I'm, I'm casting magic. You want to roll against me, Diacor? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Give me All a percent. Right. Uh, 60 on the nose. Okay, I will look that up. What's the spell you're casting? I was casting Lightning Lure. Uh, you're dragging it closer? And yeah. do, do I need to make a save on that one as well? I'm wondering if I need to make a damn save on that one. Well, yeah, it's a strength check. <laughs> <Or strength. laughs> uh, you are going to like that one. Probably not. Uh, no, I failed that strength check. Just drag it right to you, don't you? Lightning lure? Yep. It does. Uh, it does damage, too. Sadly, though, you cast Inflict Wounds as level one on the nearest creature. As you are dragging an owlbear closer to you, there is no other creature nearby, so you cast it on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> or, what wounds? Wait, can he cast it on Buttercup? No, Buttercup is on the other side of the tree. Oh, you should have done that. You should have jumped on Buttercup. Uh, yeah. Haggis, uh, so you're just... Right. Right, there's what no about damage. The damage on the owl bear. That's what? What, what kind of damage do you do? Oh, wrong one here. Let me. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, one dead. No. Uh, For my sword, it's one d eight. Six. One. One d six. It's one d eight. Okay, okay so give me one d eight. One d plus eight. <clears throat> and Haggis, did you hit? Yeah. Okay. I did one point of damage on it. Okay. Haggis, how much damage did you do? I... 11. Oh, nice. Uh, that was the other 19 and the 15. So now a pair of 12s, I take it. I will... 112 and 110. Oh, I will shoot an arrow at the owl bear. Uh, 22 to hit. Oh, easily. 13 to hit the owl bear. Easily. Do I get a sneak attack on that or no? Uh, it was not paying attention to you. It was zoned in on leaf, so I'll say yes. Sweet. Uh, damage with the sneak attack is 16. Uh, 28 total. Uh, Copious, you're up. Uh, I'm summoning uh, my packed weapon and casting shadow armor. That's okay. probably my entire turn, I assume. And man fang. <laughs> you Come on, man fang. Do it, baby. Shooter, man fang. Oh, thank God. Uh, plus four, that's 21. 21. Roll die eight and add one to it. Six points of damage. Yay! He rolled a natural 17. I'm so proud. I know. <clears throat> Your uh, newfound friend begins to curse at it, saying it is the ugliest chicken with the poorest amount of feathers that it has ever seen. It is unaffected. <laughs> the two 19s. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I, get, I, I get to go. Yeah, you get to um, go. Why don't we just skip you? No, you said two 19s. It's okay. Yeah, no. I'll go ahead and go. Uh, Robert, since you're dragging me, D12 against me. If I win, both attacks go at you. Otherwise, it's a swipe at somebody. 11. 
Uh, you're going to get the bite and the claw at plus seven to hit. So bite, uh, 13, so dirty 20, uh, 12, dirty 19. I take them both. Ouch, this is going to hurt. Uh, 1d10 and 2d8 plus. <laughs> so how's that new level treating you guys? Uh, four, a two, a two, eight plus five plus five. 18 damage as the owlbear goes ape shit on you. Uh, now the 19s. I am going to cast Blade Ward. Okay. On myself. Nice. So you're just going to uh, charcuterie it as you drag it in closer. Well, no, or Blade is Ward the lightning I leash... Uh, Concentration. I was switching to either way. I'm going blade ward. Blade ward resistance to uh, bludgeonings, piercings, and slashing. Okay. So, so that, that I'm that basically is... going into uh, uh, tank mode. Gotcha. Okay. Fair enough. Other 19. Leave. And it did say the lightning lure is instantaneous. Uh, it doesn't say anything about concentration. Okay. Well, you've dragged it close, right? Yeah. <laughs> There. Hence why it got to hit you. Exactly. Okay, Leaf, you're up. You're muted. I caught that. <laughs> As I'm casting Inflict Wounds. On Robert? Can I get off? No, on the Albert. Can I get off my donkey first? Yeah, if you want. I'd you like just had a donkey. Zonkey? I'm just going to kind of get off it and push it out of the way, away. Sure, it's been yeah, enough. That's what I was thinking as a front or Yeah. Right. I rolled an 18, so. That hits. Um, three die 10. Ooh, that's going to be hurtful. Yeah, if I can roll some good numbers. You want to let Manfang do it? Well, that's a zero, so I guess that's a 10, right? That is a 10. All right. And a seven? That's not bad. And an eight. 25. Nicely done. Uh, 15. Felix. Nothing? No, I had, I was 12. I don't I think crap stains 15. Oh, I'm sorry. So get off Zongi first. I don't think I did that. Nope. Oh, I could jump off the zonkey onto it. Dexterity. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna jump from the zonkey on top of the werebear. Like from a, a very awkward position for it. Like you know how you can't like put your arms behind your back? Sure. Like put your legs around its neck and turn yourself into a necktie. Yeah, you can't do yeah. Oh, okay. or, but like on top, you know. Sure, so that would can... be cool when you hit the blade ward. Go ahead. <laughs> give me a dex give me an acrobatics check. Awesome. <laughs> so what? what could go wrong? <laughs> Leaps into the mouth of 24. The okay. Yeah, you are on top of its head. Okay. So I'm gonna. So where is it? So I can see everything. So where is everyone's position from where I am? Directly in front of you is Robert of Zeppelin. Felix is, is still over by Buttercup in the tree. Uh, the newfound halfling associate is next to him because it is still constantly stroking the zonkey because it really likes it. Man, oh, in Fang, the middle. <laughs> Man Fang is to the left of Robert. Uh, Copius and Leaf are to the right and back right of the owlbear. Okay, then I'm going to stab its right eye. Okay. Well, it would be his right, or my right, so my left. You're both facing the left, same way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so the right eye. Sure, go ahead. Fumble, Brown eye? fumble, 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 fumble. Is 15 a fumble? 15 is not a fumble. You do hit the eyeball. Awesome. The owlbear is enraged. It begins to wildly at the creature in front of you. That's uh, not going to make its day. Okay, now, Felix. Uh, Felix, careful. Uh, 
from now on, any ones are going at Haggis. <laughs> That's fine with me. That's. <laughs> I oh, will look, not. I have rolled a one. Yes, <laughs> a one. <laughs> I will not be dismounting from Buttercup because I don't trust uh, Hulena, the way she's stroking it, that I would never see Buttercup again. That hurts. I just want you to know that hurts. Well, you know, meeting strangers in the forest, you can't be too careful. True strangers well, he... meeting halfling in that lighthouse city teaches me a lesson. I will shoot another arrow, but I don't think a an eight is enough to hit. Nope. Uh, good news is it scuffs the boot of Haggis crap stain, but it does yeah, not shoot him too. foot. Yeah. Copius, you're up. Uh, Copius is going to dismount and charge at the back of the owlbear, uh, and he's going to cast his uh, uh, Copius Rex Glorianus uh, spell as he does it. So if so I say it, got to say it. Glorianus. Copious. So does 15 hit the owlbear? 15 does hit the owlbear. Uh, so you need to make a charisma. At, well, actually, everybody in melee combat with the owlbear has to make a charisma save or take a die six damage. Oh, you're Thir screwed. 13 oh, for yeah. the owlbear. Uh, 15 is the magic number. Okay. Yeah. What's the magic number? 15. Oh, good. By one. The Albert takes uh, 12 points of damage, and anybody who failed their charisma save takes five points of damage. Uh, is oh, that yeah. on top of what you did to me? No, yours is all calculated okay. together. Gotcha. But everyone else took five points if they didn't already. Fair enough. Uh, Where does everybody have, How many feet from the Albert? It's like you guys are all closed on it except for Felix. I'm not in on it. He was shooting his bow from a distance. He is not in on it then. And uh, speak of the devil, man, Fang, it's your turn. I know I'm going to run in with my great heart. What else are we going to do? We've educated. Oh, right. Uh, how do I do that? Do I just say it? I'm going to rage. I will rage. Ah, I'm so angry. Sure. He's nerd raging. <laughs> ah. another, another red light, damn it. <laughs> will I never get oh, down this street? Now, whatever you do, don't miss. Yes. Natural 20. That 20. Look at the boy. I am a wait, wait, wait. Blessed again. dice. All right, I get two attacks. These two attacks. Roll again. Oh, oh. Girl, be, this will be the one. This, this will be, be the one. one. He, he's got Kills Albert dice. and Haggis. Now he missed with the second one. Not. I can only get one that 20. A so year. it's a die 12. Die 12. Add your uh, strength. Right. On 11 plus 5, buddy. 16 points. 16? What, I get a plus 2, right? Oh, yeah, yeah plus right. 2 because he's raging. Okay. Now, is Fair that enough. plus 2 on a die roll? Per die roll? Or is it uh, on a melee damage roll? Uh, It's the first melee attack. Well, that was all on one melee attack. Or is it just... So, yeah, he gets the two. It's it's the attack die, attack die, modifier, rage. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, the, the bonus for the D20 is the second. So that would have been uh, 18 points total. Got it. Uh, the owlbear is going to claw Haggis. Uh, oh, that's fine. One, two, <laughs> three, four. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Three. Uh, man, thank. Thanks for charging in. You're getting the beak. So uh, the claw on Haggis is 16 plus 7, 23. Oh. oh. Uh, but the beak is only 5 plus 7, a 12. But are you reckless or just raging? I think I'm just... Uh, let me check here. I, I don't know on that. That's, we're we're well, learning it, as we go. I, I don't think he called reckless. No, he just said mm -hmm. rage. Okay, so, so you're fine. So he if you rage, rage yeah, if you rage, you get to do more damage. If you're reckless, you get to attack at advantage, but I get to attack you at advantage. Just imagine so. I say rage and my skin just turns red and nothing will happen. I'm assuming a 12 does not hit you. No, no nowhere near. Okay, so with the uh, claws, that's 2d8 plus 5. 
Uh, that's 14 hit points to Haggis and give me a dexterity to remain seated on the cow because it hadn't been seven seconds yet. <laughs> 21. Oh, that's right. You jumped on it, didn't you? You're hanging on for dear life, even though it just carved up your quadricept. Uh, final round. Um, yeah, she'll take a shot at it. Sorry, Haggis. <laughs> gotcha, man. <clears throat> Max damage. So, four. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, the two 19s kill this thing. It's got. Like I'm going to attack with my scimitars. I have two. Sure. It's got four hit points left. Oh. You just have to hit it. That's a. Uh, but. 18. But both of you are going to roll to make sure that none of you roll a one. <laughs> 23 and an 18. Okay. That'll probably kill it. But, Robert. Yeah. Give me your attack roll or whatever you're going to do because you're doing it simultaneous. Oh, well, that would just be the simple <clears throat> firebolt. Okay. So, yeah, unless you roll a one, everything's going to be copacetic or crap aesthetic. Uh, 18. Uh, the owlbear plummets, haggis. Uh, this time you want to roll low because you want to fly off this thing rather than get your knees pinned underneath it. So give me a dex check. Can I grab onto a tree? No, it's in the clearing right now. And it's about to come. Uh, 12, 12, 23. Uh, no. So you're going to suffer some bludgeoning damage to the tune of four hit points as you're pinned underneath and scream in agony. Fortunately, your newfound friend, the halfling, comes running over and immediately uh, attempts to lift the dead owlbear off of you in a gesture of friendship. Wow, I was going to kill her. <laughs> what you wow. don't realize is her other hand is flipping in your pocket. Because she is a halfling. She's a bard. That's twice. Uh, she screams out, a little help over here. This thing's heavy. <laughs> I'll go help as I pull out my dagger to skin the owlbear. Sure. Uh, with uh, several people helping, Haggis, you can crawl out from underneath it. Uh, however, we're going to start calling you Lieutenant Dan for the night. Uh, mm -hmm. As you don't <laughs> walk very well. Uh, uh could I, um, Plus, whatever. I would like to get some of my hit points back. She will give you some good berries again as a gesture of friendship and then asks Leaf the cleric druid if he needs any good berries. No, I'm fine. Thank you. I eat all of them. You should see where she's picking them from. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Good, not dingle. Uh, eight hit points. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. I was going to do something flavor entirely. I was going to do something else to get them back, but all right. She then abruptly uh, moves back to Buttercup. <laughs> You're losing that block, me, buddy. I know, I know. <laughs> this be the one time I don't kill somebody. <laughs> I'm skinning you, you out You there. liked Phineas. <laughs> okay, give me your animal handling on uh, skinning the owlbear. It was 19. Yeah, you uh, skin it, uh, and she asks if she can have a few feathers. Of course you can. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. She walks away from Buttercup, albeit briefly, uh, grabs two feathers, Pocahontas herself, and then walks back. So you guys making camp here? I'm starting a bonfire. Uh -huh. I, I will I will help. Uh, she breaks out her camping gear, breaks out a canvas tent that looks like it's been tie-dyed, but in green and gray. So that thing's going to be invisible here in a minute. Uh, and she, I'm going to uh, stake up on a rotisserie, the owlbear, and cast campfire. Do uh, you have a pole that large to rotisserie the 700-pound owlbear? Yeah. Well, I, I've carved it down. So you remove the stick from your ass. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, big, you can carve stick. it up into bigger chunk or better it's, chunks. It's in chunks and hunks that we're going to stick to. Well, yeah. yeah, well, whatever we're not cooking, we need to get away from the camp. Why is that? Uh, that's so that we don't have visitors <laughs> during the night smelling that blood and meat. And... Oh, well, it's getting processed away from camp, yeah. Sure. Uh, well, he's already built it, so she's going to move off into a small copse of trees uh, and elevate herself appropriately, uh, you know, just like in the jungle. Uh, so she knows what she's doing. She's clearly an outdoorsy kind of chick. Uh, no plaid, no jeans, but outdoorsy nonetheless. Uh, as she sets up her camp, she asks any of you, anybody else need some help setting up camp? Not me. I don't have a bed if you could help with that. Uh, well, if your uh, large associate can go ahead and uh, part with the hide for a while, I would imagine we can <laughs> it across and make a cot, or you can just sleep on leaves like uh, poor people do. I, sleep on leaves, poor people. <laughs> I mean, I have a bed. I was just asking. Uh, ask who, had, who, who led her or whatever her name is. Uh, okay. If there are any large predators we should be careful of besides owl bears in this area, since we're new to this area. Uh, owl bears are infrequent. Uh, there is a hobgoblin tribe I've been scouting around, but I'm not sure where they're at right now. We can't help but notice that she put her uh, <laughs> tent <laughs> up above off the ground and out of the area. So she's not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> she's been through this a time or two. I'm also going to put my bed up there. I'm going to climb up a tree. Uh, survival check. Out. Yeah. What are you going to do with your zonkey while you're up the tree? 14. I'll tie it to the tree below me. So that you can snap its spine when you fall out of it. Good call. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, you have secured your zonkey and you have shimmied up the tree, much like your halfling compatriot. And you have made... Eh, not as good as her, but uh, it'll it'll be suitable. What's awesome. everybody else doing? Uh, as right. Chef Robert of Zeppelin uh, screams maniacally at different people and uses his newfound vicious mockery skills, like uh, uh, who's the guy that always yells at his? Oh, his, Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. So you got Gordon Ramsay cooking the owl bear. What are you, an idiot sandwich? I uh, personally, uh, I'm not a woods oh, kind of person. I to sit by the campfire with other folks. Uh, maybe have a watch this evening, chair watch. She volunteers to uh, go ahead and handle any watch. Oh. <laughs> uh, Absolutely. Go ahead. Sure. You can I'll tell you what. I'll take, I'll take the first watch with Huleta. How's that, Felix? I'm gonna... Hey, I, yeah. can set, I can set up some. Uh, uh, bonfires in a ring on the outskirts so you can have let's not burn the forest down <laughs> no i'm worried who is going to be taking my zonkey in the night yeah that's no, a safe we bit. wouldn't let that happen i'll take neck watch i'll yeah, take the I'll second, take second watch. watch i will so take who, third watch so who's taking thir first watch with huletta copious copious that it felix you gonna haggis is i'll second, let that happen i'm taking watch. second watch Okay, fair I'll enough. Take third. I'm taking the last watch. I'll take third. Well, so, Leaf and Manfang, you're just going to sleep it off, right? I guess. How many, the, how many of you guys can see in the dark? I can. Oh, I'm oh, stealthy. Oh. That's, that, that's, that's okay. Robert is building a bonfire that can land <laughs> a 747 onto this uh, <laughs> stitch of land. Uh, everybody do con checks to see how you liked... Uh, Jeff Ramsey's concoction. Twenty. This shit's awesome. It's awful. Twelve. Nine. Uh, Copious oh, does not have enough That's alcohol. Great. Sixteen. He loves it. This is a good result. Everybody but Copious uh, seems to like it. She. Here Seventeen. Comes. Yeah, this is this is good out there. I like the seasoning. This is not like mom makes. I'm sorry. It's good I seasoning. Uh, she will recommend that you put all of the zonkeys together and tether them to the tree uh, rather than leave them outlined for creatures that might uh, be tempted to eat them. She will suggest uh, where Haggis has uh, leashed his pet. 
Okay. I'll, um, I, I don't know any better unless someone has survival and can offer <laughs> differing advice. I'm going to do what she said. Tie it to my tree. Tying it so, to if can we uh, using our survival skills to think about whether or not this is a good idea? Sure. Because my survival is plus eight. I might as well roll something. survival or insight, either one. Twenty-four. Yeah, it's a good idea. Okay. So are all the zonkies going to be tied to my tree? Is it a yeah. big tree, like a yeah, tall, it's a good-sized tree? Yeah, it's a deciduous okay. tree. So uh, you know, we'll call it an elm. Elmer Oak. Uh, yeah, that seems to be a good idea. So maybe centrally locate the animals so that they aren't on the periphery. Uh, if they are out on the periphery, they might be able to give you uh, early notice as Buttercup screams, yeah, and is uh, slashed by some creature. But uh, in the center of the area nearest the fire is probably the safest spot for them. And uh, she offers to go ahead and feed them. Who's she feeding? The zonkeys? zonkeys? What is she gonna feed them? Can I ask that before she just puts some substance into my zonkey? She, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, NFL. Make sure that she passes the blood test. Uh, this will be a collection of uh, wild berries. Yeah, that's fine. Kind of feed them nightshade berries. Yeah, and you'll mm. see her pop one in every once in a while to her own mouth. That's fine. So she sidles up next to Copius after everybody hits their racks and says, so oh, where are you guys headed? Oh, man, I'm tired. Uh, well, we're, I, I'm just <laughs> spinning the normal Copius tale of a uh, brewmaster <laughs> merchant trying oh. to uh, head, head towards the capital city. Uh, was it Thorn Thicket or something like that? Uh, Thornfield. Thornfield. We try to make our way there. Uh, then eventually down the towards the opposite coast to... Uh, it's not Sandringham, but the, the magical city. Oh, Sedrington? Sedrington. Sorry, my uh, no term. Oh, magical? Term. Why would you want magic? Oh, we got everything here that you could ever want. Oh, yeah, it's, it's lovely. I'm really more of a city kind of gnome. Ah, okay. Urbanite. Yeah, it, which is funny because he's not. He's actually, he's a forest gnome. <laughs> she can tell she's not an idiot. So he'll be doing the whole whole normal routine. So Copius is going to try to find out about her uh, since she is carrying a lute. I'm going to ask if she plays. Oh yes, I play a lovely tune. Would you like to hear one? Yeah, well, we have another. Yes, party. Totally, totally going to listen to it. Beguile, sure. beguile. Uh, the tune is quite good. Uh, however, uh, let's see how everybody likes it. How about we do wisdom instead of. This song is horrible. I'm just going to say Natural 20. Four. Wisdom for, you chose wisdom. Well, that's a good thing for you, Frankie. Yeah. It's better than intelligence. Ha! Zero! <laughs> Bucks. <laughs> Knucklehead. That's cool. No, it's well, intelligence. And of course, why you're saying it's zero. Your intelligence is negative. <laughs> well, I don't we, care. <laughs> that's why he's misreading the dice. I thought it was also a negative three. Leaf, how'd you do? That's negative three. 18 for me. Where does it say that? 17. Negative three. Wisdom plus one. Robert, <laughs> Leaf, Felix, unaffected, Hoggis, Manfang. Drool just running down the side of them. They are zonked out. That was a very peaceful melody. Uh, Robert, Leaf, Copius, and Felix. You like it. It's a very melodic tune. Not something you want to roll the windows up and turn the heater on in your car and listen to. Was it, that, wasn't a, that wasn't an actually a sleep spell, was it? <laughs> it was not. Okay. It wasn't a charm spell? What yep. instrument do I have? The one where you like put your hand in and then it makes sounds like... Theremin. Okay, I would like to try that out since we're all going around playing music. Oh, I'm sorry. You're, dro you're drooling on yourself, so good luck. <laughs> Wipe the drool off then. Do you want me to roll for that too? You're, you're asleep. Oh, you're you're asleep, asleep, buddy. She puts you out. Yeah, she dances, uh, dances around. Uh, and Copius, give me an investigation check as you listen to this nice tune. 16. What cycle of the moon is this? <laughs> that thing is damn near full. 
<laughs> oh. oh, oops. I need to try to remember that for the morning. I'm going to pull out my lute and I'm going to play over. I, I want to ask Huleta if she's heard this song though, and then he's going to do the copious jingle. Here comes the king. Here comes the big number one. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite well known where we're from. Never, never heard of it. Oh, well, any interest in subcontracting to uh, perform that once in a while for us? How about you paying? Well, as long uh, as we're having a hoe down, I'm going to get out my toy. I'm going to pull out... Uh, See if I can, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna pat my pockets down. I think I what I have uh, 61 gold that I lifted from Felix the Great. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out and say, how about 20 gold? While, pieces? while he was saving you, I recall. I recall. I was out cold, and he's stealing from saving me. I mean, you don't uh, even know. How about 25? You know, because I liked your song so much. Uh, 25, but be sure to speak well of, of Copious Volbitters, the third, the, the hero, when people ask you about the song. Sure, I can do that. I All really right. like this zonky. This is a nice zonky. You can have that zonky. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think the guy up there would be appreciative. Ah, fish pond. I, he won't even notice. It's all yours. If Felix can hear this. <laughs> He's going to be pissed. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not, not for sale. What? Why is everyone still awake? I'm taking first watch. If they're all going to be up, I'm going to bed. Well, it's, I was enjoying the music, but I'm going to tell her that, you know, uh, <laughs> my zonky stormy made it that zonky last night. If you keep in touch with him, you might be able to put a bid on the uh, offspring. And I will remind her that this is a very rare zonky, especially in these parts. And, and my it man would be very Bang easy. Faded with that zonky after beef zonky. So uh, she uh, 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 she lifts Buttercup's tail. Uh, uh, since you brought it up, Leaf D twelve against me. Uh, ew. Buttercup's not in heat. Amen. Three. Well, she's in heat. Oh, I know. Wait, wait, we're missing. We're missing an opportunity here. <laughs> Light bulb. Leaf the cleric is a druid. Yeah. He can shape change to whatever he wants, right? Yep. We Boy. can work the market on albino zonkeys. <laughs> albino centaur zonkeys <laughs> that all look like yeah. leaf. <laughs> yeah, I could turn. You could sell me. I could wait. You know, two hours. You know what? I'm I'm going to go out on a limb and say nobody wants to see that. No. Nobody. <laughs> and, and there's breeding potential at the same time. As a centaur, you're going to create an entire race of a donkey albino donkey tars. <laughs> yeah, and they're all going to look like Barney off of The Simpsons. Yeah, <laughs> donkey tar. You know, whatever it takes. I'll, I'll take one for the team. <laughs> uh, is Buttercup the only female zonky? Uh, she is now. Roll against me. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, I know Gus is male, right? That's Leafs. Is that uh, what Stormy. Stormy. Who had Gus? Or am I just inventing that one? Okay. It might have been one of the dead ones. Copious D12. Uh, if I win, I get to pick... Uh, you know what? If I win, I'm going to roll a die. Ten. I'm going to roll a die. Odd male, even female. Nine. Uh, yours is a female. Robert? Oh, is never it, mind. Is his in heat? Oh, <laughs> is his in heat? Well, I, I would assume they're cycling. Yeah. yeah. They've been well, together yeah. long enough, right? Yeah. Haggis, uh, D12 against me. <laughs> oh. One. Four. <laughs> Uh, odd male. So two males, two females. Robert, That's jackpot. Yours would have been a female man fang male. Yeah. Um, wait, is Haggis has been gelded? Uh, 16 and above. Nope. He's swinging meat. 
Wow, you really didn't have to use that phrase. We got <laughs> mares. So wait, we have we have three female zonkies. We're crossing through a woods with two, two female zonkies. Two and two, and two ungelded males at the same time. Correct. Yeah. Oh, I, things. The, were, the werebores are going to come out of the woodwork, according to my other group, because as they say, werebores are attracted to menstruation issues. And that is not the case. I have never heard that before. But they swear it as canon. <laughs> I'm so just thinking we're in Boston. Controlling Josh, Josh is saying, yep, that's it. That is definitely it. So, <laughs> so two live females, uh, two live males. And I don't know if Leaf's going to turn into a third male. I just shudder. I'm thinking I may turn into a war horse and do it. Still going to be a centaur. <laughs> what the hell? Because you're shooting yours, not what you turn into. Yeah, but what's going to be funny is when it's the bottom half of a human and the top half of a donkey. <laughs> it's that, like a, it's a donkey tar still, right? Instead of a minotaur, it's a donkey, donkey tar. tar. You get a horse oh, yeah. You know how the kids all wear the, the horse head? That's what your spawn is going to look like. <laughs> so... Uh, since nobody bothered to sleep except for the two youngest members. Copious, uh, your shift ends without issue. Uh, she gives Buttercup one last pat and a kiss on the muzzle and jets up the tree to get some sleep. You're already sleeping, Frankie. She put you to sleep with the music. You and Haggis, both were out. Uh, uh, Copious is going to bed. Going down. I'm sleeping. I gotta get up next round. So who's, uh, who's uh, number two? Felix, that's, that's it. Two. Nobody's working with Felix. Okay. I'll, I'll keep, keep an eye with Felix. Well, then who's keeping an eye with Robert? <laughs> I was. I was. <laughs> okay. He wants to kill all the zonkeys. Uh, Felix, uh, your vision is clearly limited. Just one. One zonkey only. Wow. Uh, the you, zonkeys... Yeah, the zonkeys are fine. They don't seem to notice any unusual uh, creatures coming within. Uh, are you going to do like a circle pattern or how are you going to do this with leaf? Yeah. Uh, I'm not really that concerned about things in the jungle as I am about this newcomer. Sure. I don't trust her. So I'm going to focus pretty much on her for the night. She's up top, so. And she better stay up top. I'm sure she'll stay on top. Uh, <coughs> Leaf, you've got a private message. Uh, you know what, Felix? Let's make sure that there is nothing coming. Give me an investigation check for me, please. Ten. What? Ten. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't wait for my time. Well, it is uh, it is time for uh, watch three. Oh yeah, it's me and Robert. Somebody want to wake up uh, Captain Drool over there? I got Boy. it. So I'll real, wake, like it's a lot. Uh, hey, wake your ass up! All hands on deck, man. You got work to do. Uh, you hear a rustling in the northwest. All right. I'm gonna me, tip me and me and um, Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when third watch is the last watch, so that means we're just gonna stay up until morning, right? Yeah. Correct. But something's moving around in the woods. All right. I'm gonna put some charcoal on my hand. I'm gonna go over to Buttercup's <laughs> curly white ass <laughs> and rub that charcoal in there. And then scratch, man thing was here. Charcoal on that. Point. Hey, I don't know how to spell. You got to take your off hand and go, eh, eh. And then I'm going to listen to see what's over in the woods. Uh, you get sprayed, Robert, because Buttercup does not like anyone messing with her ass, apparently. <laughs> so you have this unusual aroma now. That Haggis 
and Leafs Zonky seemed to take note of. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the process began already. So I would be very careful. Well, they're going to be yelled at. If you don't know what that stuff. sound is, I'll send you a message. <laughs> You've ever uh, been and, around a stallion, buddy. And and you can tell they're eyeballing you, pal. Uh, <laughs> pulling out the blade. <laughs> I'm going to go check the sound in the woods. I'm going to play my instrument. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I'm, gonna cast, the... I'm gonna pick up a rock, cast light on it, and throw it in the direction of the sound. Give me an attack roll. <laughs> that is 13. Well, it lands in the uh cops of trees. And morning dawns anew. Uh, Man Fang has had an incredibly restful night. Uh, the uh, birds are singing. Everything is nice. Uh, Copious, give me an intelligence check. Uh, nine. You don't remember <laughs> <laughs> that tonight is going to be a full moon. Uh, there is... Uh, flanks of owlbear baking as your newfound friend has woken up early, used her halfling stealth ability to go down and co uh, get a little uh, back fat off the owlbear, and she's cooking up some bacon. Mm. And petting buttercup. Well, mm. you know, one hand I'm cooking the bacon, one hand petting buttercup. I'm going to tell, Fee uh, tell uh, Copious, you know, I think we may have found a, you know, a, a replacement for Phineas. Maybe this one can cook. Well, let's let's see if she's interested in traveling. What she's been this way before? Maybe she's willing to act as a guide to take yeah. it. Yeah, she she didn't know that guy. Like she did yeah, know the guy. You know, we could just tell her we'll let her ride Buttercup. Huh? Perfect. Well, right? How she? Can you can her. ride right up on top. <laughs> <laughs> just grab the horn of the saddle and sit right on top of. Him. You've spent a little bit too much time in the pink house. <laughs> I think I have. So, uh, a hell of a 60 year old woman. Everybody, go ahead and uh, con check, see how you like the fat back of the elder. 19, 15, 15. 15. Gross. Mm. I got a nasty as hell. Okay, well, some like it, some didn't. She uh, she points out that maybe she should have left it floppy, uh, and points out that maybe Robert likes it floppy. <laughs> and I she like says her. she says strange huh uh no, also I, I'm gonna have to tell her no it ain't robert felix but, like some sloppy but buttercup uh, is clean but robert maybe you like it floppy so you're pretty sure she knows uh she did the uh experimentation the measurements uh of it and uh but she's not going to say, she's not going to throw you under the bus. She's just mentioning. Maybe you like it floppy. I like it floppy. Uh, well, it's been a pleasure meeting you guys. Felix, are you sure I can't buy this uh, wonderful creature off you? Sure. Yeah. How much you got? Well, unfortunately, no, no. Not yeah, for sale. For sale. What How do much you money do you have? Play? That's a good question. Well, I don't have money per se as much as uh, uh, rudimentary no, items. I that... said good day. Explain. <laughs> I, I have this wonderful gem that allows because... you to see great distances. Oh, that, that's pretty good. Sounds good to me. That sounds pretty good to me. Uh, <laughs> sounds like a deal. Let's trade. <laughs> I've got well, I, I'm afraid uh, you guys don't own the creature. Am I correct? I believe it is. Oh, we, own the creature. we own it it's together. Party. We're a part. I'm pretty sure <laughs> that, <laughs> that we <laughs> don't own them together. <laughs> he's drunk. I can't help what he's saying. But nah, Why don't we put it to a vote? A, 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 a simple vote. A simple vote. Well, you know what? She goes. No. I, you know, I wouldn't feel right about that unless he wanted to gamble. <laughs> think, about, think about it. Think about it. Think about it. For, for owner 
ownership <laughs> of the zonky. <laughs> Copius is going to try to interject and say, we really must be going. It's been a pleasure. No, we, we got plenty of <laughs> <Carolina. laughs> There's a little gambling. Can you hear those bones <laughs> in your head? <laughs> oh, Felix, you can't I, reach this. Uh, <laughs> Copius is going to try to cast a uh, uh, fey presence and try to creep her out enough that she decides it's time to move on her way. So it'd be DC 15 on a, a, a wisdom check. If I charm her, could that make her gamble? Like, you know, uh, she wants to gamble. No, yeah, I'm exactly. trying to scare her away. Yeah. It's not working. She's <laughs> turned on. Unfortunately, Felix is too attached to butter. I don't know. Wouldn't. I think he's got a roll. I want to see a roll. I did roll. I did an even odd. And I was like, <laughs> let's let dice. Let's let fate figure this one out. Dice give it. Dice take it away. There. Dice no. Say no. I, I no can gambling. understand why you would not want to part with such a marvelous creature. Yeah, uh, and I don't blame you at all. He gambles away everything. Yeah, I don't care if he got rid of Buttercup, but I didn't want to lose, you know, my offspring. You know, from Stormy. Your right. offspring? Well, yeah. Are these your handprints? Hey, you no. Sick. That's my person, <laughs> buddy. My, that, my Stormy nailed that thing. I, I believe Leaf keeps his hands on his hips. Yes, uh, there, yeah. there is your disturbing <laughs> mental image for the night. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> this is already gone so bad. I hate it. I, hate it. I am now scarred for my strength. <laughs> I now need to sleep with my eyes. I, you know, little Frankie, if you think it's bad for you, think of your uncle and your brother. <laughs> or your dad and your <laughs> uncle. I, I think it's way worse for them. But you know what? I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight. So I'm yeah, gonna... me too. <laughs> Meeting loud crackers to tone you out. Yeah, I, I zoned out, uh, honestly. Uh, I'm, I'm going to head off to Light Reach and see if I can find Rodrigo. I wish you best of luck in your travels. I'm going I'm to I'm gonna ask her, would you be interested we're making going to try to make our way through the interior to the capital. Would you be interested in doing some guide work? No. <laughs> what if we paid you uh, handsomely? Unless, yes. Unless. Unless. I, guess the zonkey. <laughs> I, I am. I am told one of the zonkeys might be pregnant. It can well, be. They leap about. Two minutes and we might have that. <laughs> <laughs> if, if by some chance uh, this creature, one of these creatures was uh, impregnated, uh, I would accept for first pick of any litter. Not sure what zebras do. Um, but still station. But still paying for the offspring, not but having first pick, right? A first refusal. Is that what we're hearing? Yeah. Uh, I, I I would uh I, I don't want to pay. I mean that would be my payment. Uh but I would I, I, I would get a pick. zonkey for guiding us through on the beaten path. Yeah, not for a new zonkey, but you could take the old one. One year, one yeah, two fold, dead ones. Mountain zebras are twelve month gestation, and a gray zebra is thirteen months. Hey, gee, I don't think this halfling would live that long. We better get that <laughs> So yeah. here, uh, actually, we're gonna uh, speak just unless Felix changes his mind. That's uh, his his mare that's impregnated. That's we're gonna no. wish Fuletta a nice day, and and yep. uh, see you later. He, I've given her money. Please remember the deal. You'll sing about copious full bitters and the bars. She, she, she recites it uh, to the letter. And then the other thing, if you could, please pass a message on to the madam of the pink house in light reach, a good dear friend of copious's um, <laughs> wishing her well, looks forward to the next time he, he will be this way to have uh, a lunch with her again, dine with her again. But I is can... the lettering in halfling? Well, he's, he's verbally telling her. Uh, uh, she will go ahead and pass along that information. She has enjoyed the pink house many a time. Thank you, Huleta. You're missing the boat she, here, Felix. Wait, so, oh, she has enjoyed the pink house many a times, Felix. Many yeah, times. Felix doesn't like her now, remember. Because she wants buttercup. 
she wants Buttercup, and there can only be one. Hey, you're the one that uh, rode over on Buttercup. Don't blame me. Uh, <laughs> I know. This is a unique creature. I mean, they're, the zonkeys are unique uh, anyway. Yours is even uniqueer. I know. I'm terrified like at what Robert's planning on doing right now. As the dice are rolling, Felix. Can't you feel that urge? I, I, who I a... feel the urge, but like I said, dice rolled for an even odd, and I like Buttercup more than gambling for it. Copius is spurring his uh, zonkey and moving on the path. Uh, can I can I take another hunk of this owlbear? For the road, absolutely. I yeah. guess for uh, so. got anything? I got I got sprayed last night. Got anything to help deglaze this? Yeah, I'm sure you did get sprayed. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> let's now bear for that. Uh, okay. Uh, she guts the anal glands out of the owl bear. There you go, boss. Oh, you'll be safe, <laughs> you'll be safe from any owl bear on the trail. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you need to stay way back behind us, dude. These zonkeys do not like your new scent at all. Dude, <laughs> you just need to burn that character sheet now. There's no coming back from this. <laughs> Damn. I can't believe the I can't believe the uh D, the master did that to you, dude. Yeah, if I, I you know I should for this reason alone, I should have gotten putrid sewers from Adventure Sense. And yeah, yeah absolutely. 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 Because once no, you smell that, man. It somewhere into a bag, and there you go. Yeah, there is. There is. It's like yeah. being on the, uh, watching the slab work done. by. Hey, listen, man. not a problem, Frank. We'll be taking Mike down to get groomed here for too long. I'll have her squeeze those glands into a bag for you. <laughs> A lot, a lot of a lot of visual imagery for everybody tonight. You're welcome. I always hey, I always make sure she squeeze those dogs' glands. I don't want that so much rubbing his butt on my floor. Yeah, I I, I agree one hundred percent. So uh, yeah, uh, hey, lead the way. I'm going moving to lead the way cheer, cheerfully along. I'm staying up to Robert. That's all I know. About an hour into your trip, uh, the forest ends, hmm. uh, and it opens up into uh, a little meadow area and the path connects. Uh, this would be a path. I need to change the color. These are roads, well-traveled roads. Do we have a, a copious? Check your uh, tube there and see if there's a map of this land. I can't remember the name of the where we're at. So. Dre Glary. Dre Glary map. No, the best. I tried to find the interior Damn. map and I couldn't find one. How about a continent, continental map? We have the general uh, ship map, but it didn't have anything on it for villages on the on stretch. It okay. just has the road that goes into the interior. These well, what do you are think? Well traveled. They aren't asphalt, uh, but they're they're running. So clearly, wagons have come this way, uh, and it, apparently, wagons have come this way frequently. So yeah. uh, let's well, take the road. Can we is get, there a uh, sign? Yeah, an insight check or survival check to see if we can keep our general direction towards the interior. Uh, yeah, it, it would be clear that you would uh, head straight for okay. that. Um, left and right. Uh, this, you know what? Who wants to d12 against me for uh, a sign? Never mind. That's a twelve. <laughs> The it's sign, the, 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 the sign has fallen over, so <laughs> you, you aren't really sure what the hell you're going to. Is and the I, sign still intact? Oh yeah. Oh, what's it say? Oh. Is, is there I'm saying that we know we came from uh, Light Reach. Light Let's pick Light the sign Reach. up, turn it so it points to Light Reach the way we came. Light Light Reach is not listed here because that was a path, not a road. Damn so it. What, well, what what do the the other three directions say? One is Raglan. Don't move one that. one is Triorki, all Welsh. Uh, Rexham is the next one. 
As a halfling, is there any chance I could remember any of these places? Like maybe tales from when I was a child or something? Nope, you grew up in Cragwich, baby. <laughs> so, Rexham, Triorki, and Raglan, right? Yes. In no particular order. Well, I don't want to have to say Triorki, so I'm hoping we don't go that way. I say we what? just keep going straight. Raglan. Yeah, we'll go straight. Street. To the left, they'll take us back in the direction we came from. The right will take us probably to the seashore. So we might as well go straight. Straight it is. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, right at dusk, you know what? Let's give you an encounter. Uh, as you go into some woodland hills here, and I'll give you an example. Uh, so you guys have opted to go south. Uh -huh. or, uh, yeah, it would be south. Okay. So uh, in lieu of the other aspects, you are headed here, right about here uh, in a little bit of hilly land. Uh, you find a farm and a wagon selling goods. Hey. You are... Copius is hailed because clearly he is one of them. Uh, good morrow, my friend. Where are you headed? Oh, and I now just noticed he's gone. Oh, there he is. <laughs> so, uh, Haggis, not Copius, my, my bad. Haggis, uh, oh, 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 I thought you anyone. meant they were crooks and shysters. I thought they were gnomes or something. Yeah, they are halflings. So they recognize you as an equal uh, and are curious about the mounts, uh, but they do not say anything because they are well mannered. Uh, and they hail you. Hail, good sir. <laughs> yeah. <Hey>. Our, <laughs> they kind of Our, look at each other questioningly. No, yeah, I, I go. Our race, <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh, Copius is gone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, so they ask you what you're up to and about your strange traveling companions and the unique zonkeys that you ride. Oh, well, these were gifts for being such a great... Uh, well, they were gifts to me for being such the greatest party. That's why you killed Copius? The greatest party member? That's, <laughs> uh, they were gifts to me. They were gifts to me because I'm a halfling, you know? Like these people, these are just, I don't, it's okay to say slaves. <laughs> sure, yeah, you can go ahead and call them slaves. Are you saying it in half so these guys don't understand? Yeah, yeah. Just circle, circle, banana. <laughs> yeah, you, you know they aren't going to fall for the circle, circle, <laughs> yeah. banana. <laughs> now, if you want to call these guys circle, circle, and banana, then, oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay, gotcha. <laughs> So uh, what, what, are you, what are you guys selling here? What are you guys up to? Uh, one guy is a tinsmith, and he is repairing some farming utensils for the other gentleman. Is that it? That's it. Are you guys um, selling anything? I have a few items. Uh, I am a tin, tinsmith, so I do mild repairs and things of that nature. What do you need? Um... I could use some like containers, like some small. I have just the thing, but I don't have very many of them. It's my personal design. It is a tin cup with a lid, but you spin the lid and it tightens. You know, that, that, that's going to change everything. Good for you, man. I appreciate it because I am Scrooge the Tinsmith. Scrooge. I yelled out water source. <laughs> Back at a well over there, you need to water your uh, strange mounts. Yeah. Sure. I'm going to go over to the well. Sure. I'm just going to start flushing the shit out of myself. <laughs> I'm going to ask him, where does... Hey, so we're a little lost, you know, but um, do you have a map of the area? No, that I do not have. Uh, where are you trying to get to? Um, the, the capital. Oh, you're a couple days away from that, my friend. I take it you aren't from here. Where oh. are you from? How'd you get here? <laughs> I am from Cragwich. I grew up. Never heard of it. 
uh, it it's halfling land. I can tell you that much. You know, it's either mixed. Uh, I thought I thought we were the only halfling land. Uh, well, it you know parents how they yeah well, your oratory skills are amazing. <laughs> you and man had diplomacy <laughs> off the charts. Well, this road uh, this road takes you to Triorki. Is that where you're headed? Um, maybe. Um, yeah. <laughs> Is that guy crapping in my well? Oh, you're just dunking yourself to get the pheromones I'm off. I'm flushing myself with the pot. Oh, okay, yeah. We had a run in with a were uh, were bear owl. What's it? What's it called? Uh, owl bear. Were owl bear. bear. Owl oh, bear. You, you'd think that you'd see that tonight because tonight's a full moon. You're oh, awesome. really? <laughs> Oh, that's fascinating. And, yep. and we're standing here. They're talking in some other language none of us understand, right? It's street okay. language. It's English, but it's street language, halfling language. Unless I want to understand it. Uh, and uh, everybody except for Robert, roll for perception. Twenty-four. Nineteen. Don't matter what you roll. It's Twenty-seven. <laughs> Everybody sees Robert. And, but we didn't hear, we didn't understand the phrase, well, tonight's a full moon, right? Correct. Okay. Robert, is everything okay? Yeah. We seem to have an itch. That bear fur. No. <laughs> is it like the time of day where you can kind of see like a shadow of the moon, like in the sky? No, no. No, it's, it's not yet dusk. Uh, by the time you reach Trioki, uh, it will be dusk. So you think that we should go so right the way we're coming, and we'll we'll hit a town village. What's it called? Trioki. Yeah, Trioki. that's the closest thing here. Is here. it go good? Is it a good place? Like, what is it huh? structural wise? You know, uh, it's a small town. Oh, okay. I guess we're done here. I think we're going to head on our way. Except Hag has got his new screw top tin cup. That's right. I will I will I will take this to the higher ups, you know. <laughs> sure, you're going to pay me for it or No, you just said you're taking it. You didn't say you're buying it. Well, um guessing at like the look of it, can I tell how much it would it would really be, you know? He's asking a gold piece. One gold piece? Mhm. Mm one gold piece. Two of, them. two of them. Ask for two of them for a gold piece. <laughs> Can I? Uh, could I give him? I'll, I'll ask for two of them, but I'll only give him one gold piece. Uh, I need two gold pieces, my friend. Uh, okay. What's wrong with only... your, What's wrong with that guy? I don't know. You said it's gonna be a full moon tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> 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 so I, I give him one gold piece and you know he gives you one screw top I say thank you and I say thank you hail Hydra we're going to be on our way not sure who Hydra is so. <laughs> okay uh, the tinsmith is uh, done and he heads south towards the road where you guys came from uh, they, have, they will have pointed out that uh, you guys are maybe an hour outside of Trioki I keep on moving, eh? Yeah, I would like a real bed tonight if possible. Sure. Uh, there's a tables. Oh, yeah. No, it's it, it's nice. It's it's a good town. Is it got uh, cheese? Does what? I'm hungry for cheese. I really want cheese. Yeah, they'll have cheese in the town. Come on. I'll tell you what, after all that owlbear, get behind me. I'm going to cut some cheese. Need some roughage is what you need. You aren't going to smell any worse than uh, Robert. Yeah, that's what Robert does. I right, does he I smell any better? Down, now? maybe not all off, but I knocked it down a little. Who wants to d twelve against me? I will. For oh, Robert, I too. what'd you roll, Robert? Six. Six. Yeah. Oh, there's a festival in town. <laughs> oh, we're great at those. 
This is not going to be good. This <laughs> poor town's going to get burned to the ground. Wow. Remember the last festival we saw? <laughs> Burn this town down. Uh, as you go into a little gully, uh, the town, uh, it doesn't even have a fence, so they must feel it's fairly safe here. Uh, think old western town. You got a main drag uh, and a lot of buildings. Maybe holds, I don't know, 75 people. Not very Old many. western town, so that means there's a whorehouse. I'm going to tell Felix and Copius, uh, we'll uh, let's find a stable. Yeah, a trustworthy stable. stable. Stable and an, and an inn. There, I'm sure I can clear a path fairly easy if I walk in front. <laughs> ah. Oh, everybody will take a look at you, uh, but they're more intent on the zonkeys parading in after you. Um, but yeah, uh, there is a stable right there. It's right next to the uh, Cooper's place, or I'm sorry, the Cartwright's place. Uh, Hoss is the proprietor. The people looking at us, where are the races? They're all half them. Okay, I give them all the nods, you know. What's up? What's we're, up? We're, they're with me. Uh, slaves. Uh, now they're <laughs> in halfling, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> banana, <laughs> banana balls. Uh, there are a few other races here. Uh, they look like they're merchants. <laughs> So as you come into town, clearly there's a, a wagon, a Cartwright place, uh, and it looks like they have a, a decent sized uh, stable area. It's an open pasture uh, surrounded by uh, split rail fencing. So, and uh, the owner is Haas. He's a stout halfling. So I want to talk to Haas. Uh, well, howdy, partners. Howdy. howdy. He, he can speak common. Oh, he's been Good. coming wonderful. Hey, we're just team acquiring your fine town on our way to the capital, but we've we've lost, unfortunately, our friends' rides. Their mounts were uh, lost a couple days back. We're wondering if you have any an extra mount for sale, donkey, horse, anything. You twelve against me? Ugh, I never wore twelve. Oh, eleven. Nine. Uh, yeah, I have one. Donkey. It's one of donkey. A burrow. Burrow. Uh, yeah, I was going to say we want the slowest, ugliest, most pathetic animal possible. <laughs> this one has a temperament <laughs> issue, my friend. Perfect. How much are you asking for said donkey? I mean, knowing that it has some issues, I'm assuming you're going to make me a good offer. No, uh, <laughs> but I'll make you an offer of 30 gold pieces. 30 gold pieces. Uh, so I'll even throw in a blanket. Uh, I'll what tell you what, cart? are you, are you going? Yeah, to, you got a cart for that donkey? Say, will you stable our other animals, uh, for that 30 gold for the night? 32 gold. And yeah, I got wagons for sale. What, what, what are you hooking up to a wagon? You're not hooking my zonkey up. He has no, customers. We're not that, that, that guy asked. Donkey up to the wagon, and Man Fang and Robert can ride in the wagon. You think a donkey's going to be able to pull that two pieces of meat? Oh yeah. Hey, I have a brain. Bombadia, bombadia. <laughs> it's up to uh, you guys. Thirty up, thirty-two out of the party treasury to get at least one more ride for somebody. You can uh, buy one of those. Uh, uh, it's the two-person cart. A dog uh, cart looking thing? No, yeah. a shay. That, oh, that's it. So, yeah, it, it'll be a shay. Uh, it's still a burrow and it is temperamental. <laughs> hey, it's out of the party treasury. Do you want the mount or not? Robert? Is this guy a halfling? Yep. Yeah, this guy's a halfling. Stout halfling. This is a right? stout halfling. Maybe we should bargain a little bit, make the price go down some. 32 that's, gold. That's the best I can do. I think we but if you want the cart, that'll be more. How much more? Uh, that'll be 30 more on top of that for the cart. So 62 gold in total? Mm -hmm. 62 gold for the burrow, the cart, and to stable our animals for the night. For one night. Yep. One night. 62 right. gold? Why don't we just wait till we get to the main city? Or is this the capital? We're, we're a couple of the ones in the capital. <laughs> hey. Hey, I just, 
it's our first opportunity to find a mount for you and uh, Alice there. So, you know, <laughs> it's up to you. If you don't want it, we're fine. I'm not my mount regardless. I say we save it until we get to the city. All right. I'm going to tell the guy, thank you, Haas. Have two gold, though, to stable the four zonkeys? Yes, sir. All right. Done. I'm glad I could help you. Now, I'm going to, before we part ways with Haas, I'm going to ask him, hey, Haas, what's with the big uh, bonanza you guys got going on here tonight? Uh, this is the full moon festival. <laughs> How convenient. Interesting. And what do you celebrate at the full moon festival? What can we expect tonight? They're going to be dancing all night long with some pretty little ladies. Uh, just out of curiosity, are those ladies halflings or? Uh, D12 against me. Well, no, they're <laughs> werebears. Nine. You say Eleven. Uh, there, there's another lady in there. She's a, she's a, let's see what she is. She's a gnome. A gnome. Oh, look at that. I think oh, she's I a merchant. I think she sells alcohol. Robert, kill him first. Kill Wait, her first. What kind of alcohol does she sell? I don't know. I, I, I've been busy working. I could just smell the aroma of the fine brew. Is she local or is she a traveler? No, she's a traveler. She ain't from around these parts. She's a gnome like you. Only better looking. <laughs> All right, Copius is uh, he's starting to he's starting to grind his teeth here over this. If somebody's honing in on the business, so one, two things: either it's a competitor or it's someone from the Vol Bitters Brewery trying to hone in on my work here. Uh, either way, Copius is starting to he's getting pissy just hearing about it. So I <clears throat> he's ready to go find out. He's asking Haas, where where would I find her this time of day? Uh, well, they're all they're all prepping uh, for the celebration, so I'd imagine right downtown. So as soon as you guys are done, Copius is heading downtown. Yeah, let's go party. Yeah, oh, we lost Agus. Agus says, "Screw this, I ain't playing." Okay, you guys head uh, down into town, and it it is a hive of activity. Halflings are everywhere. There's a couple human males there. Uh, one of them looks like an adventurer type. Uh, two others look like merchants, uh, and uh, they're setting up a beautiful stand. Nice banners and stuff. Uh, is a female gnome. Uh, did we stable our zonkeys with back at the Ponderosa for the night? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, I, I don't recognize the female halfling gnome though, right? Never seen her before in your life. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna make my way over to her and and uh, is she currently setting up a like a, a table or something? She's setting up the beer garden. I'm going something. to inquire about what she's uh, what she's selling. Uh, with 17 charisma, she looks at you uh, and says nicely, uh, "Why, hun, I deal in libations, libations that will knock your socks off." What kind of libations? Uh, this is a honey mead. Oh, did you are you offering samples? Hun, this is a festival. You can have that's one. A, that's a yes. Okay. He Copius wants to taste the honey mead. Hands you over. Uh, go ahead and roll an advantage. Well, it's a good thing because that first roll was awful. Uh, 14 on the second one. You find it acceptable, but it's certainly no Vol Bitters brand. Ah, oh, so I, I'm going to play it off like it's quite, quite tasty, regardless. Uh, if I need a deception check, I'm going to ask her what brewery she's from. She, uh, it's my namesake, uh, uh, and it's the Kenna Brewery. My name is Heine. Heine? Yeah. I, I was going to go with Pabst, but I'm like, now nah, screw it. I'll go Heineken. <laughs> so where's the Kenna Brewery at? Uh, it is uh, not from around here. Are you familiar with, uh, oh, God, Baton down south? I'm not. I'll have to become familiar with it. Do you have others, other wares you sample? Uh, I have a wine, but it's not very good. I, and I'm just, he's going to make small talk and find out if she's like traveling along the stretch. Does she have? Uh, does she have a wagon? Yeah, she's got a wagon with with other other brews on it. I assume like a beer mm -hmm. wagon. Yep. 
Uh, how long is she going to be in town? Just for the festival for the night? Just for the festival. This is as far north as she goes. And then she's heading back south. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm going to tell her, I said, I, I, he, you know, Copious, he's, he's a, a lover of fine brews. You know, he sampled many on his travels. He really enjoys it. He's going to ask if she's ever heard of the Volbitters brew. Sing a song, Jason. Uh, is that the one with that stupid song? <laughs> All right. So, so uh, I, I'm going to finish up the song. He said, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, what do you think of their beer? Uh, I actually haven't had a, the opportunity to sample. Yeah, so, oh, uh, I, I think it I would be rude of me on, to say. I may have some on my zonkey. I'll, I'll see if I do it. I'll meet you back here later tonight. And if I have some, I'll bring one with you. Then I, I'm going to leave. Mm-hmm. And as I'm leaving, I'm going to pull Felix aside and say, we're getting a beer wagon today. <laughs> Uh, shit, yeah, so let's get a beer she, wagon. At the very least, she's going to be naked marching south, but we're taking her wagon and we're pouring that piss out and we're going to brew up some good stuff. He doesn't deal with cor- it's a corporate thing. Oh, shit, sure, sure. Corporate, yeah, let's get corporate involved. Felix sure. is meanwhile going to be eyeing up this town thinking if this is an old west town, they're going to have some gambling. Oh, Lord. oh most certainly. Oh, yeah. Are any yeah, of the so girls Felix getting ready? Like, yeah, yeah, we're ready. <laughs> yep, well, girl, girls are got their hair up in curls and bows, and everybody's got their Sunday best on. So, wait, is it Oklahoma or Seven Brides for Seven Brothers? It's going to be Oklahoma. Okay, just check it. <clears throat> Although Which one's the good probably, one? Probably a lot of interbreeding here because, you know, it, it's smaller <laughs> than light read. Uh, all the buildings here are made of wood, Robert. Because <laughs> I know that's going to be. He asked walked us. away and he was about to light another candle. Um, oh, thank God he walked away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What's the charisma on the girls? Uh, the gnome is a 17. Hey, you're too young for that. I, I would have thought you would have asked what their dexterity was. Foolish me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I will give you... Uh, I'll give you five that you can see. Ooh. Five, 16, 6, 20, and 12. These are all halflings. I tell you what. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to walk past in a general direction, you know, lick the eyebrows back and give them all uh, a very seductive head nod. <laughs> you know, I watched 16 Candles, so I've seen how this plays out. <laughs> <laughs> What's all right. happening, hot stuff? Seductive <laughs> head nod, right? <laughs> he's, got his, he's got his gesture <laughs> head nod, and then... <laughs> which is just a lot of this. Okay, so uh, everybody is wandering around doing their own thing. Uh, <clears throat> if you'd like to try uh, Heine Kenna's uh, beer, you can. Uh, it's uh, They've got a big, long table lined up in the middle of town, uh, and it looks like several sources of food are being prepared. Something is on a spit. Something is on a grill. Something is covered in dry leaves in a pit in the dirt. Uh, and a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, and you can see the moon starting to rise but can we see zeppelin like oh he's yeah he's, scratching he, like, he's he's this he's got into lice or something yeah, yeah. Might, it probably got a rash from that stuff she sprayed on it yeah it's That's probably all all bear. Yeah, yeah yeah okay 18 to the head nod and to, to you know get some things going to, see which, they... to which one all of them stop. Stop. that's half that's half link that's stop. how half links stop work. it stop I have moved my body in a way that shows off my <laughs> dexterity. Oh, he will move his body <laughs> like a pole. Uh, well, you got the attention of the seven. <laughs> seven guys. The 20 doesn't give you the time of day. I will walk up to the 20. I'm well, we've got, 20. <laughs> we've got a bar here. We've got a bar over on campus uh, called Harry's, and they have a shirt that says, Go Ugly Early. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> what time is it? What time is it? Like, is it, it is, drinking it is, time? It's dinner time. Okay. Not dancing time, right? Like, no one's on the dance floor. No one is really... No, it's eating time. 
Hmm. Yeah, do the Running Man now. Are they, are they doing? Are they doing? Um, like a like a big feast area where is everyone going for one place to eat? Well, no, that's it's a long table in the center of town, and then there are different food spots. So if, if you want to get whatever's on the spit, it's there. If you want to get what's on the grill, it's there. Whatever the hell is buried in the ground, covering the leaves, is there. Uh, it, there's a, a lot of options here. Uh, Heine Kenna Brewery has provided. Uh, on several doses. Uh, it, you aren't old enough to go to bars, but on Penny Beer Night, we all know what kind of shit that is. That's kind of what she's giving out. Okay, I'm shuffling faster to get to the 20 so I can get in line with her. That's what they call green beer, and that ain't St. Hey, Patrick's I Day. In of, I want to cut in front of, or just from behind, go, hey, you guys, to crap stay. <laughs> And I will backstab you if you ruin this. I'm broke from the front. No, you know I what, go, man? Hey, who's that? I'll stop him. And go. What's she doing? And the guy. Hey, <laughs> who's that pretty lady? And run up to him. If uh, you're gonna be a crappy wingman, at least at least be uh, at least be a good wingman for now. For now, Frankie, you wingman. need to get behind him and go. Jesus Christ! What the hell did you eat? <laughs> 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 My God, there's something crawling out of you, my friend. <laughs> you need to get a tonic again. Hey, uh, <laughs> am, I, <laughs> am I in line with the 20? D12 against me. Seven. Reroll. Five. Twelve. Uh, no, her ugly friend cut her off. Hello! <laughs> she has like... <laughs> Four teeth on the top. Hello! Can I Nobody. step over top of Haggis to get to the 20? You can circle around. I will do that. Yeah, because you're going to have to make a wide berth because her friend is a little bit on the larger <laughs> side. She's a Marge, very Marge. stout half. <laughs> Large Marge, you would say? Yes, and she is she is playing with her curls. So she looks so, like a so heavy she's set. Oompa Loompa. Yes, she, she's, a, she's a bigger girl. Probably German. Uh, yeah, blueberry. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you can, uh, unless you botch your dexterity roll. What's, 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 uh, uh, Frank. What's that? <laughs> roll one, you're going to fall on them. Natural 20. Hello. <laughs> Hello, lady. Madame. How do you do? I, I'm going to play a song for uh, to help him out. Yeah. Is it I pour some sugar on me? I love a cherry. Somebody grab the loot out of his hand and bash it. <laughs> uh, Man, Fang, she rolled a six on how she likes you. Ooh. I gave my love a chicken. <laughs> Can I cut again? Can I can I just cut again in front of that? Um... She garnered a three with Robert's uh, poetic justice. Uh, yes. guess, All of first, us. first you gotta outmaneuver the tank. Hey, I tell her. Um, I'm gonna put mm. my arm around the tank and say, "Hey, baby, what's going on?" <laughs> he said it. He said it. Card laid. Card played. I'm I'm moving. He's interested. <laughs> I'll, I'll let well, you roll it in advantage. Back and I'll show you my flute strings uh haggis you can roll at advantage since uh robert is showing us all how to be a successful wingman taking one from the team yeah, i will not forget this thank you unless you roll double ones 19 but no that's back you, you in six, 16 skirt, you managed to skirt around and uh you are right next to man fang and the lovely zadora is that her name <laughs> Sure, yeah. that's what her name is now. Zora. I, I thought her name was 20. <laughs> right, I'm gonna, since you guys are underage, I'm just going to bite my tongue. Since, <laughs> since, since this is, you know, this is a festival, I'm not, nothing is going to happen tonight. We're all friends. Just a full moon, just a full moon festival. So I'm going to use my only spell slot and cast Charm Person. On the 20. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good luck. You know that's the equivalent of roofing her, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Thomas, uh, you seem to have charmed her enough that she will talk to you. And yes. With that, we will call it a night. Wait, wait, before you do, hey, isn't that your friend with that creep boy hitting on her? And I'm going to step out of the way. Bitch. She's gonna march on over to you, Hoggis, and her stubby thumb is going to uh, 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 tap you on the shoulder. Excuse me, this is the bacon line, and shoves you out of the way. Who? Who? Oh, oh, oh. You, out, you of out of the way. The Who? friend. You got oh, between yeah. the big girl and the bacon, dude. Yeah. I'll, I'll, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll take she it. She's still charmed. She's still I'm gonna, charmed. I'm gonna point at Hoggins and say, "Yeah, step away, short stuff." Wow. Why? Well, even though wow. I'm short, I'm still gonna say it. <laughs> the town. Well, is see, I, I have to call it a night before it gets case any scar more graphic. Face. <laughs> yeah, it can get yes. way more graphic. In, in case watch. anybody has forgotten what Leaf did, you know, I'll, I'll just remind you that he had his hands on his hips. That's all I'm gonna say about oh, that. Oh, it. A link to this episode will be sent to Father and to Hoggis. <laughs> um, Hoggis, uh, what would you think? Amazing. Uh, I, I used my first. Fantastic. I have nothing else to say. Fantastic. I use my. It's just a full moon festival. What's what can go wrong? Nothing can go wrong as what as far as I'm seeing. As, as well, uh, next thing I know, she'll be drinking another potion that makes her turn into something. Uh, Jason, now that you have a, a black spot here where part of your vision is permanently erased, uh, what'd you think? I think we were this close to a storyline that involved a teen drama on Nickelodeon. That's what I think. Uh, uh, night's not over. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> what's, the, uh, what's the high one at Riverdale? Uh, yeah, well, there was Riverdale. Yeah, that's yeah, that's oh, Riverdale, he Veronica, or no? What's that? It's another one. It's all about teen angst or pre-teen angst. That's that's what we're shooting for. That's what we're shooting for right now. I I just want to point out that I'm about to get a beer wagon. That's all. I, copious is so we're that Heine is she's disappearing, and I'm just minding my own business. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I uh, might never leave. I might stay with 20. We might leave you here with you 20. You won't stay with 20. You'll stay with when, 7. I'm when the weird creature that we've all pretend like doesn't exist starts tearing through this town's <laughs> village. Yeah, we're all going to be in deep shit. And just for all I mean, you... I will I will heroically save the 20. That's her name now. Not well, or whatever it was. We're we're there's just one were creature, right? Only one of us... Were, we're absolutely certain there's just one of us that's a were creature, right? Only only one of you changed during the last full moon. Yep. That's not what I asked. I said we're absolutely clear that only one of us is, right? I, I you think guys... I'm pretty sure Felix was just insane from going into the ruins. And you know I change all the time anyway. Well, but Haggis wasn't with us at different points, so that's true. true. Uh, Senior Frank, what'd you think? Oh, I, I had a lot of fun with this one, and just so the grandchildren know, I'm going to let your grandmother watch this son of a bitch. Hey, hey. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm sure the hands on the hips are going to be a oh, big yeah. hit. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're putting yourself hey. in that ditch, brother. She's like, been with me for over 50 years. She knows how I am. I don't, this she knows is about the hands on the hips. That's why she doesn't have to yell. Watch it before she just starts yelling at you. I know that's true. Uh, little Frank, what'd you think? I thought it was great, and I just will say, when the raging beast starts tearing through the town, I will come and save the twenty, and she will fall for me. I, 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 I charmed her. I will slew her. At this point in time, you look like the raging. <laughs> <that rage>. <laughs> 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 I don't know what you're saving. She's gonna run from you like she runs from. That's true. Maybe she's a, maybe she's one of those Furbies. Maybe she gets into the beast. Yeah, you know that that could be it. Uh, anyway, knees and toes for you. Is that is that is that your final thought there, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> maybe she's into furries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, leave it right there. Frank Let Senior, your in. wife is a very patient woman. I'll yes, she is. Never yeah, she knows just to walk out of the room yeah. and don't stay near. She doesn't uh, want to yeah. hear. 
and, and this is probably the last time I'll uh, you'll be allowed to play with me. Oh no, uh, I've been doing this shit for years. <laughs> AJ, what do you think? It was good. I can tell that I'm going to have a hard time with Buttercup going forward. And I also would just like to say that I am so sad for the people of this poor town that's on out on the frontier that's about to be burned to the ground. Buttercup will be fine, Alex. Oh, when, when he is coming with us. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, there you go. I think that's what you call a parting shot. I'm not even going to top it. You know the drill. Follow us. <laughs> Whatever. Folks, let's wave and say goodbye and let the trauma set in. <laughs> Is our producer there? No, she hid. She ran. <laughs> she ran away. <laughs> Sorry. Are we, are we out? <laughs> let, let the mental trauma continue. Well, she was so traumatized that she blanked for a minute. Yeah, I, I think it was when this happened. <laughs>